It's Jamani time on the beat. Do how show shit. It's up Martin in the studio. Stop it. Too. Take a time out, look at my natural flow. Metaphor said, oh, what brains are gone? Allegopoly studying the science of political policy. Ain't nothing stopping me. Private investigations on the highway. Sabotage, ghosts in the shell, specializing for See, so that's the one thing about being in the LGBTQ the community. I didn't want to let how people treated me and my self esteem affect my sexual life. You know what I mean? Because it's like you have low self esteem naturally from how the world around you is trying to tear you down. And sex is great and sex is cool. Like, you know, because you don't have the. At least in, at that time, you did not have the luxury of meeting people in public and stuff like that. And, um. Smooth talker like the Garden of Eden. Me? I finish everything even. I wasn't going to try to let that affect me. I had to sit there and subvert it to something that I say at the time. I may have been powerless to the circumstances like that's how people behave until I came along I broke that in now especially in Harlem I made it so dudes can walk outside the back so it's like almost as if society was counting on that which was so funny like you know and they was angry at me cause I remember okay everybody used to sit here and try to tease me about oh Jelani, you know, you know the usual plethora of gay jokes that come along with being in society. But when I'm sitting here walking by myself, which has made me alone, people have always tried to sleep with me, or the type of obsession they've had with me has been unhealthy. You know. And with that, it was like they was almost angry for me for not conforming to their idea of who gay people are supposed to be. And it's a, it's a type of real subtle, and because men hate you when you don't sleep with them. I don't care what you say, that dude will always remember you. That's why I always make it. I curve a dude. I curve a dude with the quickness. You know, and sometimes you have to. That's how I became really fucking famous on certain levels because every dude always remembers me. You know? There's no way you can just, mm-mm. You ain't getting everything. You can't tap everything and that's premium. Hmm. You feel? So, with that, and the expectations of society, I try not to, uh, given to those ideas because I know that there's value to me. My presence is power and every person should know that. With that being said, it's like, okay. You know, society tries to ostracize you and gaslight you only for them to be the hypocrites in the whole first place. And with that comes power because you can't let your loneliness affect your sexual train of thought because men consider sex very important and that is power. And if you go around sleeping with all the secret dudes on ground, they'll never respect you. They'll never respect you in a certain way. Not to say that's bad and that goes for any promiscuous person. But however, when I ignore them, when I walk into a room, I know every dude is looking. I know not every dude, some, not all. I just know it's just something that has been ingrained in me because of the It's something that's been ingrained in me because of the society around me. To know, but at the same time, I pay them no mind. I'm just out here looking at my life. These homophobes thinking I'm nothing. And that's the one thing you realize is society. Look at me society. Sit back, that gay men, or even shot. trans, I this movie, I get you know, the, 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 the so spectrum, the community, we're going to call them, really has...
goes through a certain type of process when it comes to growing up to how people want to see you. And the funny thing is reality is perception. So if people want to see you in this light, they're going to do everything to put you in this type of light. That's why environment is important when it comes to Okay, person. You have to get up out of a town that does not know how to treat you because then they'll make you that. They'll try to make you that person on the corner that has no nothing to do but to escort and to sell yourself to a society that doesn't care much about you just for a quick pleasure and get off. How are you to survive that way? And I think that is the relationship because gay men usually often grow up with such trauma and self-esteem that they just want somebody to be there. And them quick flings ain't never going to be there for you, mama. They ain't never going to be there for you. They ain't never going to love you. They don't see, they see you as a, an object to be used. Okay? I could never. Can never. Can never be me. Is it worth putting? Don't let them get the upper hand on you or anything because that's what the, especially the older generation of Dio guys, they have so many attachments to this world, they're willing to do anything to maintain that. And that's how you shouldn't let your sexuality affect your identity because if you take, if you take a time out and you scope the scene out with the dudes in the room and who's clocking you, and who's doing what? You gain so much power because now you develop a system on how to play them and how to navigate through society and how to change the building blocks of society. Through the little power that you have from them. They don't like to admit it because men, gay men or even trans women are men who are people who have the power of women but the mind of women. So you can move both things. You built for the boss stuff, for the bullshit. So therefore, they see you as threatening. They don't know it yet. It's a natural evolutionary response, but <laughs> you know, use that to advantage that you literally do not think like the heterosexual. So they don't know how you think. They're only taking a guess on how they exploit you and what they can get from you. That's all people think about. So stand on business with them. There's no shade. 